Well, tonight is also Halloween, and while you're outside taking the kids out trick-or-treating, maybe take a moment to look up and enjoy the night sky. Yeah, KCAL News Meteorologist Marina Jurica shows us why. To get you into the Halloween spirit, the stars are offering up their own spectacular spectacle. Soon we expect a violent stellar explosion some 3,000 light years away to awaken a dead star that we'll be able to see with the naked eye. Here to tell us more about this zombie star and why we should keep an eye on the night sky is NASA expert Dr. Nicole Colon. Welcome, Dr. Colon. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So a zombie star is a star that survives mm -hmm. stellar explosions. Can you tell us how this happens and how difficult is it to bring stars briefly back from the dead? Yeah, you know, it's a fascinating phenomenon because we have these stars that they have a life cycle and they eventually die. And so in this case, we have a dead star that has another living star next to it. And that living star is basically has outer layers flowing from its surface onto the zombie star and it builds up and eventually causes an explosion. And that's how it kind of wakes up the zombie star. That's so fascinating. And so we're waiting for the zombie star T. Coronae Borealis, known as the blaze star, to explode. So why is this system particularly rare and, of course, exciting? Yeah, it, this system, oh my gosh, it's one of these, well, first of all, it's the closest one to us. So it's something that we can study in great detail like never before. But also we have the opportunity to study a system that only explodes or goes nova Every few decades, you know, the last time this happened, it was a long time ago. <laughs> so now it's a very rare event. And so that just makes it that much more exciting so we can learn about the material like ejected back into the universe to eventually create new stars and planets from the dead star. And as you mentioned, it is rare. The last time this Nova event occurred was in 1946. So we didn't have the technology that we do today to view it. So how is NASA going to observe this rare cosmic event in this new age? You know, NASA wasn't even around in 1946, which is just, you know, fascinating to think of how far we've come. But now we have spacecraft out there that observe everything from gamma ray, x-ray, ultraviolet, all of these wavelengths of light that we are already using to observe this object as we wait for it to explode. So both stars in this system started out as really medium-sized stars, just like our own sun. So tell me a little bit about if our sun will face the same fate. Well, luckily, um, our star won't explode, <laughs> so that's the good news. You know, we don't have to, to deal with explosions, but our sun will eventually become its own zombie star. Its outer layers will shed um, much more gently, less explosively, <laughs> and leave behind one of these zombie stars. But we don't have a nearby star that will interact with our zombie star, so that is what the necessary ingredient is for an explosion. And so luckily, we won't have those kinds of events here. But luckily for us, because of this event, we'll be able to see it. So how can our viewers see this new star when it does eventually go Nova? This is the fantastic part about this system being so close is that we will actually be able to see this with the unaided eye. You won't need binoculars or telescopes for the first few days when the explosion happens. The best bet truly is to use a Starfinder app um, to find the constellation Corona Borealis. But yeah, if you go up over near the Big Dipper and kind of follow the arc of the handle over and up, you'll eventually land on, on the area where the new, you know, quote unquote, new star will appear. Well, and if you're looking for a last minute costume, right, Nicole, wh why not be a zombie star? That's fantastic, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today, Nicole. Thank you. So a little tip that I have been doing to prepare for the event is to familiarize myself with that area of the night sky. Now, you can use a telescope or binoculars to see the blaze star before it explodes so you know where to find it. So there are plenty of apps available, as Nicole also mentioned, to help out. I use Sky Safari, but there are so many more that you can download onto your phone so that when it explodes, it'll also remain visible to the naked eye for a few days so that That'll give you some time to catch it. So happy stargazing and happy Halloween. <laughs> happy Halloween. 